from the Strip Studios, this is 10 News. Hello, I'm Jason Martinez with this 10 News update. Heat warnings in effect across San Diego County today. Officials urging extra caution if you're planning any outdoor activities. Some hiking trails are closed because of the heat. And if you're out and about today, officials are warning you to drink a whole bunch of water, wear sunscreen, stay indoors as much as possible. Limit that outdoor activity, especially for seniors, children and pets. And remember, for pets, their paws can burn on that hot ground. With temperatures going back up, SDG&E is once again encouraging people to save energy. Energy. They're activating the reduce your use program from 2 to 6 p.m. today. People are also enrolled that can earn bill credits if they can serve energy during that span. sdg &E says additional days may be added later in the week. At this point, the state has not issued any flex alerts. SeaWorld paying as much as $4 million for a possible SEC violation. The company has been under investigation for allegedly misleading shareholders about the impact that the Blackfish documentary has had on business. After the film's release, attendance dropped, and earlier this year, SeaWorld CEO stepped down. Recently, though, things have been looking up for the park. In an earnings report today, the company said attendance and revenue between March and June were up 5% over last year. So let's get to Megan now about that hot forecast. Oh, yeah, it's going to be hot today. Actually, it's going to be hot all week. <laughs> I'm just going to warn you right now, but the worst of it will be today and tomorrow when we are in an excessive heat warning that is for all areas away from our coast. The valleys and the mountains will be trending in the 90s and 100s. The deserts about 115 to 118. Our coast not in the heat warning, but still warm and pretty muggy. Generally in the 80s, temperatures are about 5 to 10 degrees above normal. More of the same tomorrow, but then the humidity starts to go up Wednesday as monsoon flow comes back. So it's humid along the coast because of our warm ocean waters and then we're going to be adding in the monsoon flow from the east so we're going to get a double whammy for the second half of the work week and even though it will be maybe a couple of degrees cooler it's going to be more humid so it's still going to be really uncomfortable i mean inland neighborhoods we're staying in the 90s through the extended our mountains will drop back down into the 80s by wednesday but we'll introduce a slight chance for a stray shower or thunderstorm then lasting through the end of the work week temperatures are above 110 through tomorrow in our deserts jason all right thank you very much and for the latest news weather and traffic check out 10 news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jason Martinez.